Well, the MLB commissioner office announced some changes. Here's what Manfred says. Joe Torre is no longer the chief baseball officer. He's now a special assistant to the commissioner. Sort of the grumblings about Torre becoming part-time, going out of the office. It sounds like it's one of those part-time out-of-the-office gigs where you call in whenever you feel like it or something to that effect. He's no longer in the office, which suggests that he's not the person that's going to be making those phone calls for the All-Star game or the postseason to umpires. But either way... You sort of saw this coming because Manfred and Tory were at least publicly disagreeing or it sounded like they disagreed or made conflicting statements on the electronic ball strike system. Manfred saying, yeah, it works. It's going to be great. The Atlantic League was really good. Whatever the data said doesn't really matter, but whatever. Uh, and Tory was saying, what, even though he was low-key, being pressed on that podcast or that uh, radio show, he was said, I, I don't think that the robo is going to happen. So Manfred, with Tory out of the way or at least not being as much of a constant presence in the office, whether his move is voluntary because he might want to spend more time with family, uh, or, or otherwise we'll never know the true answer. Either way, it's easier for Manfred to advocate for electronic balls and strikes more aggressively, as we heard that clue where he in Davos at the Economic Forum of all places said, Oh, yeah, the technology's coming. We're going to test it in spring training. And then MLB had to walk it back and said, Oh, umpires, we're not actually putting it in gameplay and that, that whole mess. But either way, it makes it easier for Manfred to do it. Second up is the senior vice president of economics and operations. Morgan Sword is now the executive vice president. He's joined the executive team. It's a name we haven't heard too much, but we heard recently. According to the New York Daily News, he is the 120 plan brainchild, the mastermind. 120 plan for those not familiar with all this talk about Manfred's threatening the minor leagues to we're going to constrict or, or contract or whatever, get rid of some teams, get rid of some markets if you don't agree to our terms. The Daily News described it as MLB's plan to destroy the minor leagues or, or something to that effect. Uh, whatever the actual scope of it is, Morgan Sword's name is in there. And He's of the same mindset, hive mind, with Manfred. So, whereas Tory appeared to have been a dissenter when it comes to electronic balls and strikes, and he's moving out, Sword, who is a concurrer regarding the minor league system, is moving in. So, think about what that means for the agenda pushing. The third move is Chris Young, the VP of On-Field Operations, Initiatives, and Strategies, joined the office in 2018. Now, he's the, now he is the senior VP, which is significant because he now reports to Deputy Commissioner Dan Hallam. And the, the really notable thing here is the name that we don't hear anywhere in the press release, Peter Woodfork, who used to be Chris Young's boss, Peter Woodfork, senior VP of Baseball Ops. What happened to him? We don't know, but here's a clue. He was a candidate for the then-vacant Astros GM job which he didn't really get, but it tells you that he, either on his own volition or on the league's volition, was going to leave the office, or thinking about, at least, leaving the league office. What's his current status? Not in the press release. We also have Gregor Blanco and Nick Hundley, former players who are new to the office. They are becoming senior directors of baseball operations. They report to Young. They help with discipline. And here's the quote that's really interesting. Provide insights regarding on-field rules, initiatives, technology, instant replay, and other topics. So, rules, initiatives, technology, instant replay, other topics. What name or what class or, or job title of names do you not hear anywhere in the press release whatsoever? Umpires. For instance, Randy Marsh, director of Major League Umpires in 2019. Rich Riker, director of Umpire Development in 2019. What happened to them? Clem, by the way, remains the top-ranked umpire in MLB as Clem continues to run replay. He is the, I believe the title was Senior Director of Instant Replay. Yeah, Justin Clem, Senior Director of Instant Replay. So he is the senior most umpire, but no umpires on the VP level. Remember Joe Torre saying he's come, he, he really came around from when he first got into the gig and he really turned into this umpire advocate. And now he's on his way out of the league office, but not really because he's still a special assistant to the commissioner. I feel like it's my elected position 
uh, that I hold locally where I advise, but whatever I say, is it really binding? Do they really listen to me? Well, either way, this is shakeup that I'm sure we're going to get more news about, but it's really interesting to hear how the people who seem to think like the commissioner, they got the promotions, or at least Swore did. Tory had that public disagreement, which was not so much a disagreement, but a dissenting comment on the robot umpire idea. He's no longer the chief baseball officer. Interesting. Visit us online at closecallsports.com. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at Umpire Ejections. We'll have more news. We'll see you on the site.